Hello, New York. Hello, New Jersey. What's going on, man? Man, people. I am so excited today. It's uh, it's Punky from Napa, and I have Kristen Selichich with me today. This is an incredible opportunity because we're um, so excited for the Spell Wine project that's live today. Uh, we're starting with a Cabernet from Kristen, and we're going to move to a Syrah. And um, you guys are joining us today because you have likely enjoyed many of the Selichich wines, um, which is really kind of a lot 18 darling, I would say. Yeah. So. We got a lot of love in this room. A lot of love, yeah. exactly. So without further ado, I'm going to kick it to you. So <clears throat> what, what are we drinking today? We're drinking a 2008 cab. And one thing that I want to really reiterate is this is very new. Um, I bottle things on demand. My mom and I have been working on this for the last five years. I'm not really a trend person. I don't really give a shit about them. So... I release wine when I feel like it's ready to roll. So you're drinking a 2008 Cab today and a 2006 Syrah. I feel like longevity and integrity in the bottle is honestly, truly what's most important when you're, when you're drinking wine or laying it down or just playing with it and educating yourself. Um, so I feel like it's really important to uh, explain to you my method behind the madness because I have a lot of it. Um, <laughs> this particular 2008 is actually from three different counties. This is from Napa County, Yolo County, and Mendocino County. Uh, we don't own any vineyards. We source all of our fruit we have for 20 years. And when I started this project, took a lot of negotiation with my parents. Um, but I really wanted to make something that was an everyday wine that was approachable for multiple demographics, very more geared towards the 35, 21 to 35 range, as you can see with the labels. Um, I like stepping outside the box a little bit, a lot, actually. Oh, yes. I have a, I have a question here. Um, first of all, my question was, uh, is it uh, a traditional Bordeaux blend uh, on the wine, or is there some uh, other varietal besides the uh, Merlot or, uh, or Cabernet Franc that uh, uh, you know, uh, we are used to on the Bordeaux? Um, yeah, no, no, no. I switch it up every year. I mean, I make two blends uh, that Lot 18 has sold pretty successfully that are completely different than this. We really, my mom and I sit down in our lab. Um, I go through what we need to make for the year based on how many cases for how many kind of states and where we need to buy. And then we blend our reserve. We blend this and we blend the three spells. And so it changes because Mother Nature is different every year. I, I like mixing it up, especially with the blends that I make. I mean, those are completely different from year to year. Cheers, guys. Enjoy Cheers, guys. It. Cheers. 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 Cheers